Welcome to the Heavy Spoiler Show. I'm your host Paul, and it looks like the jokes on you. If if you were one of the people that didn't like Jared Leto's Joker, I guess. Which let's let's be honest, there wasn't many. As he's coming back to reprise his role as the Clown Prince of Crime in Zack Snyder's Justice League. We're going to be getting into the whole story in this video, but if you haven't subscribed to this channel for whatever reason yet, what the hell are you doing with your life? Make make sure you do. Now, according to the Hollywood Reporter. Jared Leto is confirmed to be coming back as the Joker and he's going to be shooting some additional scenes for Zack Snyder's Justice League in which he sort of gets the chance to do what he really wanted to. Now if you were following the story of Suicide Squad you might remember that behind the scenes there was a lot of talk about how groundbreaking his performance was going to be, how annoying it was for the other actors and it was meant to be something really really special. However, that seems to have got left on the cutting room floor and Leto was very annoyed at how his performance came across. Personally, I really didn't like the actor in the movie and I just didn't think that it fully delivered on the promise that, that I was expecting from Joker. You have to remember that this came just after Heath Ledger's Joker and therefore to, to have this weird gangster with tattoos and golden teeth, it was a bit of a disappointment. Both Joaquin Phoenix and Heath Ledger won Oscars for their portrayal of the Joker and yet it's always kind of a sour note that Leto never really got the chance to do what he wanted to. However, this seems to be his chance of redemption and he has officially joined reshoots for Zack Snyder's Justice League. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the project officially titled Zack Snyder's Justice League is being overseen by HBO Max which is financing the new round of shooting and the completion of many unfinished scenes and will air as a four episode event series next year. Shooting is currently underway with Ben Affleck, Ray Fisher and Amber Heard, boo, and of course Jared Leto. Now it's unclear which other actors are involved but we can expect quite a lot from this release and it really seems like they're trying to fix everything that was wrong with the Joss Whedon version of the film which uh, let, let's face it that was two, two hours of completely wrong stuff. Now there's also a lot of controversy behind the scenes as both John Berg and Jeff Johns, you know, Ray Fisher's said some things about them recently and it's not painted them out in a good light. So I'm guessing that HBO Max are really trying to get as much goodwill behind the project as they can and thus they're bringing Leto back. Now it's a really weird time to be a comic book movie fan as at the moment it just seems like they're bringing back Pretty much everyone out the woodwork and yeah, last week it was like Jamie Foxx's Electro and this week it's Jared Leto's Joker. Kinda hoping that George Clooney's Batman returns at some point and maybe uh, it would be ice to see Mr. Freezer, eh? you having that? Anyway, we don't know what scenes these are going to be and I pretty much had a full breakdown of what the original shooting schedule of Zack Snyder's script was and it seems like this is all additional footage that wasn't originally planned in the, in the intended version basically. I'm kind of hoping that we get that face off between Deathstroke and Batman, that face off between Batman and Joker and yeah, this is just ticking all the boxes for me right now. As I said, Leo wasn't my preferred version of the character. But it would be great to see you know, him finally get the chance to redeem himself. Now obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on the story so make sure you comment below and let me know. If you enjoy this video and want something else to watch then check out our breakdown of everything we know about Spider-Man 3 which is going to be linked at the end. Don't forget we're also giving away 3 copies of the Marvel Phase 1 box set and all you have to do to be on the chance of winning is like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below. The winner is going to be chosen at random on the 30th of October and the set will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize. If you want to support the channel and get to see content like this early then please consider clicking the join button below. It's only 99 cents and you get access to a lot of stuff. Anyway, thank you for sticking until the end of the video. I've been Definition, you've been the worst. Haha, <laughs> and I'll see you next time. The joke's on you, you sucker. Bye bye.